Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Techie Brains. This is our cube series part number 3. Part number 2 you saw what is sonar cube and now in this part number 3 you are going to know about how sonar length is related to sonar cube. So guys sonar length is a tool which is used for analyzing your project onto a local machine. So guys if you are not aware about sonar lint, how to add this tool into your IDE, how to work with it onto the local machine. So I have already created a video in detail for sonar lint. You can go through with that video. I will be sharing the link in the description box. So I would recommend you to go through with that video first of all before this video. So guys in short I am telling you that sonar lint is basically a tool which is used to analyze your project on local machine. So if let's say there are five members in a team, so each member will be working on their own machine. So a particular team member can analyze his project onto his local machine by using sonar lint. Sonar lint is also having a lot of rules which your code should follow for a better quality. So your project onto a local machine can be checked, can be analyzed for all the rules which are set in sonar lint. So using sonar lint on a local machine, one can get to know all the code related issues on the fly. Okay, you can add sonar lint onto your favorite IDE and then it will be analyzing your project on the fly to show you all the issues and bugs. Okay, but if we talk about sonar cube, so sonar cube is basically a server. Sonar cube will be common for many team members. Okay, so maybe we have five team members. Each one of them will be analyzing their project locally using sonar lint. But if for all the five team members project has to be analyzed at a common place, so sonar cube server comes into the picture. This all the team members are supposed to send their project onto one sonar cube server and over there all the team members code will be analyzed as per the quality standard set in the quality gate. So guys in this slide you can see that this is the code of a particular team member and this is the code of another team member. On sonar cube server you know that we can have a quality gate where we can set some quality standards. So team lead can create a quality gate onto sonar cube server with all the expectations related to quality and all team members code is supposed to meet those expectations. So all these team members can send their project onto the sonar cube server and onto sonar cube server the code of different different team members will be analyzed for common set of quality standards. Okay, so it will be checked if the code is passing the quality gate or not. If the code is passing the quality gate, that means it is meeting the quality related expectations. If it is not passing the quality gate, means it is getting failed. So that means the expectations are not met. So in short, you can say that sonar cube rules and analysis setting is synchronized to sonar lint. Here you were seeing the analysis locally onto a local machine but now on sonar cube server for the entire team for the complete organization a common set of quality standards can be set through quality gate and all team members code can be tested to meet those quality related expectations okay so this is the relationship between sonar lint and sonar cube. Sonar lint is for local machine and sonar cube is for server. So here on to local machine each team member can test his code but when the common set of standards we have for which all the team members code is to be checked so we can use sonar cube. So guys this is all about this particular video. This is the part of sonar cube series. So guys, in this video, you have seen how sonar lint is related to sonar cube. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, you will be seeing what is version matrix and see you in the next video.